everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going to be making the basket weave stitch I've used this stitch for blankets and I used it for hats it's really versatile um, and it has a really fun texture and it's I like that the texture comes out on both sides so it's really good for a blanket so you don't just have the texture on one side but it's on both so I'm going to be using worsted weight yarn this is just yarn from my stash I think this is um, paint box worsted but you can use any worsted weight yarn for this stitch or any yarn you'd like at all um, and just change the hook size accordingly. And I'm going to be using an H 5 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. So we're going to get started by getting our yarn on our hook. Whichever way you like to do that is fine. And you're going to need a starting chain that is a multiple of six plus four more. So I'm going to be chaining 28 for this swatch for this video. So I'm going to do my 24, which is my multiple of six, and then plus four more will be the six plus four. So I'm going to do 28. So there's 24, so that's the multiple of 6, so we need a multiple of 6 plus 4. So I did my multiple of 6, 24, now I'm going to do 4 more chains. Okay, so here's my starting chain of 28. And to make this stitch, I'm going to start in the 4th chain from the hook, and I like to turn my chain over. And I really like to crochet into the back bumps of my chains. I feel like it's so much easier to see and keep track of where you are. And then you get this nice clean edge on the bottom. So I'm going to turn it over and work into the back bumps of my chain. And I'm going to start in the fourth chain from my hook and work a double crochet. So one, two, three, four. There's my fourth chain from the hook. I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook into this fourth chain from the hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two loops on my hook and yarn over and pull through two loops on my hook. And there's my first double crochet. Actually, it's my second double crochet because in this pattern, this chain three counts as a stitch. So I've done one two double crochets so far and I'm going to double crochet in each chain across. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, I'm going to yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over pull through two more. Okay, I'm going to continue that all the way across. Here I have row one completed. For row one, I have 26 stitches. So for after you do that row of double crochet, you should have a multiple of six plus two. That's what you'll need for the remainder of this basket weave stitch. So now moving on to row two, we're gonna start with a chain three. And then turn and we are going to front post double crochet in the next three stitches. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook around the post of the stitch. This is the post of the double crochet. These are the top loops, which is where you would normally insert your hook. 
right here is the post, kind of like the body of the stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to insert my hook going towards the back, and then around back up to the front, around the entire post. I'm pushing that whole post forward towards me. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to do that again in the next two stitches. I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to insert my hook around the entire post. So I'm going to the back, and then around the post back towards the front. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's my second front post double crochet. I'm going to do that again in the next stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook around the entire post, pull, pushing it out towards you, towards the front. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And there's your first three front post double crochets. Now in the next three stitches, we're going to be working three back post double crochets. So again, we're going to be working around the entire post of the stitch, but we're going to be going um, towards the back, pushing this po the post towards the back instead of towards the front. So I'm going to yarn over, and I'm going to come in through the back and come this way. Then I'm going to go around this entire post, oopsies, and go back out the other side. So you're pushing that post back towards the back of your work. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to do that again in the next stitch. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook from going from the back towards the front, around the entire post, going out towards the back again, pushing that post towards the back. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. I'm going to do that one more time. Yarn over, coming from the back of my work towards the front, put my hook around that entire post, going back out to the back, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. I'm going to repeat that across my row. Three front post double crochet, three back post double crochet. So now I have two repeats of that. I have three front posts, three back posts, three front posts, three back posts, double crochets. I'm going to keep repeating that across. So I've repeated that repeat all the way across my row. And I'm to the last stitch, which was the turning chain from the previous row. This counts as a double crochet, so this turning chain is going to be our last stitch of the row. We're going to work a double crochet right here. Now we're going to repeat this row again for row three. So I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to turn my work. And this chain three counts as a double crochet. So I'm going to be starting in the very next stitch. I'm going to start with a front post double crochet in this first stitch. So again, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook towards the back, and then back towards the front, so I'm pushing the whole post of the double crochet towards the front. Yarn over, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to do that again in the next two stitches. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook around this entire post from the last row, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And again in the next stitch, yarn over, insert my hook around the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then again, I'm gonna do three back post double crochets in the next three stitches. I'm gonna yarn over, and I'm gonna come in from the back, forward, around this entire post, and it's kind of hidden because the last row was a back post double crochet. So it's a little bit hidden back here, so kind of move these loops down so you can see the post right there from the previous row. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook from the back, and around that post, I'm pushing the post of the double crochet towards the back. Yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to do that again in the next two stitches. Yarn over, back post, double crochet, so I'm coming towards me, and then out towards the back. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And one more time, yarn over, back post, double crochet, pushing that post towards the back of my work. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to repeat that all the way across just like I did in row two. So I'm going to work three front post double crochets and then three back post double crochets. I repeated that all the way across. I'm into my last stitch, which is that turning chain from the previous row. So I'm going to double crochet in that turning chain. Now you can really start to see that basket weave texture start to form. So we're going to repeat that row one more time. So again, I'm going to chain three and turn my work. And I'm going to do three front post double crochet, three back post double crochet. I'm going to repeat that all the way across my row, ending with a double crochet in that last stitch. Here I have row four completed. It was another repeat of row three. So I did three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet all the way across. Now in the next row, we're gonna change things up a bit and we're gonna do it the opposite. So we're gonna be doing three back post double crochet, then three front post double crochet, and then you're really gonna to start to see this really cool basket weave pattern start to form in your work. So now for row five, we're gonna chain three going to turn our work and now we're going to be working three back post double crochets and these front post double crochets from the last row. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to be working back post double crochets in these first three. So I'm going to bring the hook towards me, push this post of the stitch back, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to do that again in the next two stitches. Yarn over, back post, double crochet, and then one more back post, double crochet right here.
Now in the next three, I'm gonna be working a front post double crochet in each stitch. So yarn over, front post double crochet, And these ones will be a little bit hidden because they are the back, um, they're coming in from the back post double crochets. So they're a little bit hidden behind here. Um, but right there, you could see it. You kind of push these back. Front post double crochet. Yarn over and work on that one more front post double crochet. And we're going to do that all the way across three back post double crochet three front post double crochet and so you're going to be doing the opposite as we have been doing so all of your back post double crochets are going to be in these front posts and all of your front post double crochets are going to be in these back posts So I repeated that all the way across. Now I am going to work my last double crochet in this turning chain from the previous row. And I'm gonna repeat this row again for row six. So I'm gonna chain three and turn my work. And I'm going to start with three back post double crochets and then work three front post double crochets. I'm gonna do that all the way across. Oopsies. One, two, three back post double crochets. Now three front post double crochets in the next three stitches. I'm going to repeat that all the way across my row. I repeated that sequence all the way across my row. Now I'm at the last stitch where I'm going to work my double crochet. And I'm going to repeat this row again for row seven. I'm going to repeat row five one more time for row seven. So I'm going to chain three and turn my work and do three back post double crochet and three front post double crochet. I'm gonna do that all the way across and then do my um, double crochet in the turning chain from the previous row. So there you have it. That is pretty much all there is to the basket weave stitch. You're gonna repeat rows two, through seven until your desired length of the item you're making. Just alternating those front post stitches with the back post stitches creates this really cool basket weave look.